Hi, I'm Ed Blankenship. I'm a product manager for Visual Studio Online, and today we're going to talk about our newly announced platform of services called Visual Studio Online. So let's get started. Like we mentioned, Visual Studio Online is really about a platform of services that we're now making available to developers and development teams. So you've been hearing about Microsoft has been transforming into a devices and services company. Uh, this, is, this is what services mean to developers. And so Visual Studio Online is really a platform to help you build, plan, deploy, and manage your applications using a comprehensive set of a suite of services that's accessible anywhere to the entire team. And Visual Studio Online is not just TFS. It's a set of other services on top of um, Team Foundation Server as well. And it's all hosted by Microsoft, so you don't, you don't have to worry about hosting your own infrastructure or upgrades from time to time. We take care of that all for you. Um, it's really easy to get set up. You go to visualstudio.com. Now, what we've done is we've actually helped you with capabilities in a lot of different areas. So think about collaboration. You know, your teams are distributed. Uh, you need to be able to collaborate in lots of different ways. Um, we also have capabilities for helping you plan your application, your release process um, through different ways. We also have the ability for you to um, develop and test with Visual Studio Online. So you think about version control with either get in a distributed version control sense or with tr traditional version control repos as well. We've also got a cloud load testing service that we'll talk a little bit later about um, and some test case management uh, capabilities. We also help you out with the release part of your release of your ALM process. So for example, you know, automated builds with our build service. Um, and then ultimately deploying those to Windows Azure. And we'll talk a little bit in a minute, but also we'll help you out with monitor and learning about your application. And today, I want to take a, a deeper look into a few key scenarios that we've actually enabled in Visual Studio Online. So that's the, our cloud load testing service, uh, a completely new lightweight um, browser-based code editor, and um, our hosted automated builds. And it's an, and also we'll we'll touch briefly on application insights, which will let you learn more about your application while it's running. First thing I want to talk about um, is as part of Visual Studio Online, and it's powered by Visual Studio Online, is our new lightweight browser-based code editor, which we've uh, codenamed Monaco. So you'll hear it as Monaco. Um, and really, it's, it's a great way of doing some quick edits. It's, it's uh, complementary to your Visual Studio ID. But uh, for example, uh, we're first introducing this in Windows Azure for Windows Azure websites. Um, and it's really nice. You can compile on the fly. Uh, you get nice IntelliSense. Um, and it's, it's a light co lightweight code editor right in the browser for you. Also. We have our cloud load testing service. So um, it's super simple to get scale te testing done now. You don't have to worry about infrastructure that may not even be used, but every once in a while, um, you can just basically give us your load test um, using Visual Studio Ultimate. And um, basically what will happen is it'll connect up to Visual Studio Online, and you'll get a set of uh, free resources, and then over that, you'll pay as you use those. But you can tell us however much you want. So if you're getting ready for the holiday season with your retail app, um, you can scale it up to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, even million users at a time. So, um, and then we'll just run those for you. We'll, we'll manage all the hardware, and then we'll send you the results as it's happening. Another service that we have on top of the Visual Studio Online platform is to help you with your automated builds. Um, so we have a build farm of build images, and one of the really nice things is um, you basically queue a build, and we will set up the server for you, uh, start the build, and as soon as that build is done, we'll actually kill that server, and then we'll put a new one in the pool for you. So we manage the build image that's used, so we'll always have the latest Microsoft platforms and comment unit test frameworks and all sorts of different things, and we'll keep that up to, t up to date from time to time. The other nice thing is you can perform a clean build every time. So I, I mentioned that you'll get a fresh build machine every single time. Um, and the nice thing about this as well is you can take advantage 
of our hosted build environment um, using the build controller, the hosted build controller, or you can still use Visual Studio Online, but you can have customized build servers either on premises or hosted in, a, in the cloud. So you have, um, you can do either of those, and then you can also store your build drops inside of Visual Studio Online as well. And then finally, the other, the third service that we've um, just announced in limited preview is Application Insights. Um, and really, Application Insights is is going to help you with three main um, questions that you'll have about your application. So you're usually wanting to know, hey, is it available? Um, is it performing well? And if not, if it's not available or not performing well, why? So you can research what's going on in there. And then also, how do I make better data-driven um, investment decisions for where I go next based on the uh, usage data that for customers using my live site. So what happens with Application Insights is we go in and uh, we collect tel telemetry from all parts of your application. So you know the the client-based applications, your website, web services, all the way back to um, the databases. And this can either be um, your servers that are on-premises or with Azure and third-party cloud environments. So we'll, we'll collect all sorts of information. We'll push those back up to the Application Insights service on, on Visual Studio Online. Um, and we'll process that for you and then give you a 360 degree view of, the, of your application and what's going on. And you can do all sorts of stuff um, with, around availability monitoring from all sorts of uh, about 16 points uh, around the globe. Uh, you can find out what's performing and what's not performing and dive in deeper um, into IntelliTrace logs back to Visual Studio. So we'll get you back to your code uh, that was used to compile. So that's one of the nice things about Application Insights being integrated into your application lifecycle management tools. So it's a great new service um, to take advantage of, and you'll get a lot of great data from it. Now, what you're probably asking is, hey, how do I actually get Visual Studio Online? Um, it's really easy. So one, uh, f it's completely free for small teams. So if you have a team of five or less, um, you, can, you don't have to pay anything at all. You can come up and we'll give you uh, n no cost for your user plans. You go to visualstudio.com, you can create your account using, for example, mine is edblinkenship.visualstudio.com. You can create your own, like fabric, fabricam.visualstudio.com. And then um, we'll also give you a set of free services on top of that. So for example, 60 minutes of cloud build per month. Now the other way to get Visual Studio Online is through for MSDN subscribers. So it's actually going to be an included benefit as part of your MSDN subscription. So um, you won't have any additional user costs uh, while you have your MSDN subscriptions. The other option for you is to go ahead and, and take advantage of one of our new plans that are available. So we have the Visual Studio Online Basic Plan, um, where, uh, as I mentioned, the first five users are free. Um, any additional users are $20, $20 per month. We have the Visual Studio Online Professional Plan, um, which includes a rental of the Visual Studio Pro IDE. Um, and you can have up to 10 of those per, per your account with that plan. And then we also have the Visual Studio Online Advanced Plan, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about what the differences are there. And all of those users are $60 a month. And one of the nice things that you have is you can mix and match. So you can have some MSDN subscribers, you can have some external collaborators without MSDN. You can add as many of those to your account and um, uh, it's completely complementary to your MSDN subscriptions. Another thing I should mention here is that uh, the way that you actually pay for Visual Studio Online when you do need to pay for it um, is actually through Windows Azure. So um, we will be part of the same bill billing system. So um, the same way that you pay for other Windows Azure resources, um, you'll pay for Visual Studio Online user plans and services that I'll talk to you in a minute. One of the nice things about that is um, you can take advantage of the same bill. You don't have to th think about um, another set of bill billing, um, but you also get to take advantage of the commitment-based discounts that are available. So um, for example, uh, the lowest 
um, commitment that's available if you kind of go directly to the website is $500 a month of Azure spend and that you'll get a, um, a certain discount rate. I think it's about 20%. And so you'll get that same discount on any Azure resource, including infrastructure, virtual networking, storage, as well as Visual Studio Online user plans. And so the, the monetary spin that you do have with Visual Studio Online also counts toward the total spin that you'll have with Windows Azure for your commitment. So the more commitments you make, um, the higher your discounts are provided. And so you can do that directly through the Windows Azure website, um, or you can add it on to your enterprise agreement. So talk to your sales professional about more information there. So the differences about the, the pl plans that are available um, are really around the capabilities. So we have three kind of buckets um, that I kind of typically uh, will, will bucket the plans in. So we've got basic capabilities. So you can have unlimited projects and re private repositories. Um, we have agile planning tools, work item tracking, um, code discussions, and work item chart viewing. Those are available with the Visual Studio Online basic plan and professional plan. Um, as well as Visual Studio Professional with MSDN. Now, we have one plan that actually gives you some advanced capabilities um, that are on top of the basic capabilities. So you think about Agile portfolio management, team rooms, work item chart authoring, and uh, requesting and managing stakeholder feedback. And that's available with the Visual Studio Online Advanced Plan. Now, we also have a set of exclusive capabilities um, for MSDN subscribers which allow you to have the advanced basic and basic capabilities. And right now, the one exclusive capability that we have is web test case management. So that's available with Visual Studio Ultimate, Premium, Test Professional with MSDN, and then um, our new offering, which is MSDN Platforms. And so um, this is how you get access to the capabilities of Visual Studio Online. And it's, it's uh, one thing to mention here is that the Visual Studio Online Professional plan is the only plan that you can actually kind of rent the um, Visual Studio Professional IDE um, on a monthly non-commitment basis. So um, uh, you get access to all of these uh, capabilities as part of your um, MSD and subscriptions and the Visual Studio Online user plans. In addition to user plans, we also have some shared services that you kind of pay as you use. Um, and these shared resources are per account, so they're available to all the users that are in an account. Um, so for example, we've got our cloud build service that we just mentioned, um, and you'll have 60 free minutes per month, and then it's five cents per minute after. Um, we also have cloud load testing. So uh, the cloud load testing service uh, will give you 15,000 virtual user minutes per month, and then it's 0.2 cents per virtual user minute after that. So uh, let me give you an example here. So for example, if I take um, 250 virtual user virtual users in a 60 minute load test, um, you take 250 times 60, that'll give you 15,000 virtual user minutes. So you're able to do that for free every month. Um, and uh, to kick off a load test, you'll um, do that from Visual Studio Ultimate. And then uh, another shared resource that we'll have um, that it, it's completely free right now during the limited preview is Application Insights. And we'll talk to you more in the future about pricing and offerings when we determine those. So again, those shared resources are purchased through, Visual, um, through Windows Azure based on your actual usage. And um, the build time, by the way, is computed only as the build is running, you're not paying for actually while it's queuing and waiting in the queue. Um, we've, we've done a lot. We've, we've really transformed the way we deliver software at Microsoft. Um, and what we've done with Visual Studio Online is we've had, we've had a proven track record of delivering continuous value over time. So uh, we do deliver a new release um, roughly every three weeks, uh, which is kind of around our sprint boundaries. Um, so you can go back to our release tracker that's available, and you can keep track of what release, it, what new features we've been um, introducing in each of those releases. And that's a good way of keeping up to date um, in the future. So you'll get new features um, roughly every three weeks. 
Another thing is we really do listen to um, our, our feature requests that come from our customers and we're able to actually kind of take those into our backlog pretty quickly. So um, you can head over to User Voice, let us know, vote on other popular feature requests as well that you're interested in and uh, we'll continuously um, introduce new functionality into the product. And we're only getting started. There will be plenty more investment into new capabilities and services for developers and development teams. Thanks again for watching today. We've talked about what Visual Studio Online is and how to get it. Your next steps are to sign up on visualstudio.com for your free VSO account. And then you'll go ahead and uh, watch our other videos to dive in deeper. Thanks a lot.